here. He's gonna be nine years old this summer, and he's grown out of that little kid wheelbarrow that we got him a couple years ago. I've been wanting to get him a bigger one, but they're so expensive. The other day, I found these wheelbarrow parts, including that bucket back there that he's working on, in the trash. We're missing the shaft for the wheel, we're missing the handles, and we might be needing a couple bolts. The bucket is pretty rusty and it's got a hole in it, so I'm gonna patch that. We're gonna clean up the rust, and then we're gonna paint it. Izzy wants to paint it red, so let's see what we can make of this thing. Hold it with two hands. Hold put one hand on the back. Yeah, something like that. And go down in there. Right here? Yep. Once it starts getting kind of black, shiny like that or whatever, then move on to another part. I believe that a good farm is judged partly by its beauty, but I also believe that every good farm needs a junk pile. So this is behind the house, behind a chicken coop. It's not very easily to be seen, but I do have a junk pile back here and I'm gonna go search for a piece to use for a patch for that wheelbarrow. Well, that wasn't too hard, was it? So this is actually the piece that I cut out of my trailer to put that window in for that camper that I did. So I'm gonna use this. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna shape it into that corner of that wheelbarrow and use some pop rivets to rivet it on. So for the handles for this wheelbarrow, I think I'm just gonna use some Southern Yellow Pine. For what Izzy's gonna use it for, he's not gonna make it too heavy or anything. And so I think Southern Yellow Pine will work just great. I've probably got some 2 by 8s or something up there that I can rip and turn into handles for this wheelbarrow. That'll work good. What I want to do is I want to make them two inches wide and then at the end where you grab the handles will make it a little smaller. Then you stick the point of the pencil down into there like that and make the mark. It's another day. We had to wait a couple days because we got an ice storm and it's late in the afternoon now today because we were trying to wait until it warmed up a little bit. It's still pretty cold out here but the sun's out here and there. Just warm enough that I think we'll try to get as much done on this wheelbarrow as we can. I was able to round up everything we need to finish up the wheelbarrow. I was able to find everything we need right here on our farm. So we're going to cut up some pieces and try to get them all ready then we're going to paint them before we put it all together. All right, we've got our two handles. They're nice and round on the end, and they are ready to be painted. Now I'm gonna work on some of the metal brackets and stuff. I found a shaft for the wheel, but I don't have any brackets to fasten it onto the handles. So I'm gonna use this bed frame here and cut some pieces out to drill a big hole through and fasten it to the bottom of the handles for the shaft to slide in. Two little brackets, gonna drill some holes in it for the shaft to go through and then some smaller holes for the bolts to go through to bolt it on to the wheelbarrow. And maybe this wasn't a good idea. Now that I'm done, I kind of had this thought. I should have painted this before I put the patch in there so that this rusty metal down here was covered with paint. Might help delay the rust longer. Now that I've got it on, I'm just gonna leave it there. And I think it'll last quite a long time for Izzy. I started out by putting a coat of rusty metal primer on everything. And then once that was dry, I put two coats of paint on everything. And actually the main part of the wheelbarrow got three coats just to make it look good because the paint can that I was using with that red kind of made things look a little stripey. 
This was my own idea. I wanted to be able to flip it over so that I could paint the top part of it and it was still sticky. Got this farm and implement stuff because I thought maybe it'd be a little better quality or something, but so far I am unimpressed. Nozzle on here is one of those annoying old style ones that's hard to push and just sprays out a round stream. And like you just saw, I had like half a can left over and it stopped spraying. I've got a few more cans, a couple more cans of this. I'd gotten it for another project, so I guess I'll try it. start out by drilling some holes so we can put this thing together. Got some extra big washers on the end of these bolts here to go inside the wheelbarrow since it's rusty and kind of flimsy so this will help hold it extra sturdy. Those bolts are too long but I don't really care. You just gonna leave it? We can cut them off later. Oh no, duh. I have to put the braces on. Okay, now we just need to figure out where this will go and be far enough away from stuff. Who wants to ride next? Me! <laughs> you should watch this video next and I'll show you how to build a DIY hay feeder for your cows or your goats. Well, we have a little problem here. Our pins that we're holding this shaft in must have come out. So what we really need for this is a split cotter pin, but I'm gonna try putting one of these in here and bending it over. That's bent over and there's no way it can get out of there. 